Welcome back to Darkest Dungeons 2. We're going to continue where we left off. I have already uh, healed up everyone's stress and got them all set up. And we're going to go through the sprawl area. Since I'm interested in getting the stew pot, which uh, uh, produces invigorating stew. And all I have to do is just avoid the hoarder. And hopefully, with my fingers crossed, I don't just stumble upon him like, you know, the first road I'd take. Okay, let's go. Another nameless city. Another inferno of mutilation and madness. Yeah, this runs so far. I'm not doing too hot at all. I already lost like, what, two characters? Behold, the great cities of man. Ruined and aflame. All right, so uh, I need to avoid the left because that's where the hoarder is at, yeah. But I really want that watchtower, so we are going to hit the academic studies. But I do want to do the hero shrine. I have no clue what that is, of course. Um, yeah, let's hit up the academic studies and then An do the hero shrine. Problem. Is it not? Seems like the others didn't like that too much, but it's the safest route in trying to avoid the hoarder. Which I'm glad that I healed up their stress. Alright. That's positivity between her and the jester, because the jester has the same thoughts. She probably gets stressed out more, but I wonder what that spyglass is all about. But with him, there's a chance that it could be a good or a bad quirk. It has the same thing with her, but it seems like no matter what, she's going to end up being stressed out from it. I want to see what the spyglass does. Oh, that's what the spyglass thing does. Onward. While there is still so time. So I could just ignore the freaking watchtower now? Is that something that G could only do? Wow. Yeah, wow. How come none of you put in the comment sections that you could do that? Y'all are rude. Only a bit. Don't take it serious. Making my way through town. I think um, what I'm seeing sounds like a copyright song. Uh, who were we working on previously? I think we were doing the gesture and the plague, and I'm still having issues with. Yeah, I failed that, that first, no, the uh, second trial like four or five times. I even looked up videos and stuff and tried to uh, go along with what I saw in the video and also like reading, like how I should go about it properly. Tried it, none of it worked for me. So it seems more like it's a random chance than. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Um, I wonder if I focus on him, he will have better, like, stress healing stuff. So I'm going to do this. Because hailing on so far was pretty easy. Chapter 2. Music of the Night. Unearthly him and claim it as his own. Wait, I have to do exactly what he just did. I didn't even read what the uh 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 not gonna do a solo crap. 
what exactly is the chorus and the, I think a bridge is more like the intro into it and the chorus is what gives the, the, the hype up and then that's when verses would come in or I'm gonna take a wild guess at it. Oh, okay, that was wrong. Okay, it says intro. That's what I did for Rich, so let's try to do chorus. So his verse, he did chorus. I need to keep keep up with him with the bridge. Is it bridge? Nope, it wasn't. So is it gonna start over from the beginning? No. So it was chorus. So I copy him because I did for he did intro, then I did the verse, so that was correct. Or am I wrong on that? Oh my gosh, I really, I really need to pay attention. I'm gonna lose this. I'm pretty sure there's people that's gonna be like, are you just like dumb or something? What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm not the brightest. Oh my gosh, I knew it was freaking first. I screwed up. I don't think he, he did bridge. I do solo or a finale, but I didn't do bridge yet, so I know I did these two and they were correct. Insidious fears. Dang it. Oh well. Acceptance requires honesty. I should have wrote that Painful down. Painful as it might be. I should have wrote that down. Oh, I could have with the watchtower. Actually, where's my map? So if I hit that up. Up his assistance encounter, which we find because we're running low on fire. It is low. Oh, I should say, actually. To profit in destruction. Oh, these dudes are tough, too. Oh, well. I'd be fine. Uh. Last time I remember, Blight didn't really do too well. So I don't think her Blight was that good. So let's just try to uh, mow them down especially as much as possible. Let's see if she can blight. Okay. He has so many negative effects. Okay, if I recall, she actually does a lot of fire. So let's see if we could burn him since he's coming up on the list. Ah, no city. Steady yourself. Ooh, a crit. Ooh. Okay, the bleeding effect is not too bad. I really don't want to put the run away in front, but I need him in the back so he can actually still out of position, but 
What can I do? Uh, I could actually take him out, or I could start working on him. Get out the bad call on me, especially since he was blind. Uh, he's already blind, so there's a chance that he could miss. But if I can take out someone, yeah, there a we go. Promising development. I'll be watching you. That that's a, that sounds totally like a song. And if anyone's familiar with the song, I'm like actually talking about a reference to. And if you actually understand the lyrics, it sounds like totally like a stalker. It's the same with that uh, other song that was popular some years back. Uh, hey there, Delilah. Uh, totally a stalker song also. Alright, so who could he be healed up? Well, yeah, she's stunned. I'm gonna try to preserve everyone I can. Keyword, try. At this point, I'm just pretty much going to be trying to survive. I can't really do anything. She's stunned. Well, at least he's out of the way. But there's not really much the Plague Doctor can do at this point, but... Healing is never, never wrong. Timed. Never a wrong choice. Alright, so if anything, we're gonna try to mow him down as best as possible if we want to get any rewards out of this. Um, 3 to 6 damage, 4 to 7, since this has a higher damage value. Stab him with a hot poker. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. It's not too bad, but it's not that great. But you know what? Since she really doesn't have... See, this one's not even that relevant in this area. So give me a few moments and I will switch this out for this. And then we'll be on our way. I'm trying to smash into everything. No, 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 no. Yes. Look at that. They're all lined up. Alright, hopefully this cache has something good. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Now this, this is good. This is also good. Plus two speed, healing that and food I, I can never let, you know let down on that one never let down um, actually he would benefit more from the speed I already set her up pretty well yeah he doesn't need this for the time being so I switch this around and then how about who is the one that's actually carrying restorative? She does, I think the max is two. Even though it says four, let me see. Oh, 
The flame sputters. You yes, must give hope to get it. Yeah, this is what I'm working on, man. I'm trying to get more hope. And here's another battle. Freaking heal some. That's my issue right now. And this dude is hard, so I'm gonna try to see if I can blind him. Cool. So I think he's gonna be blind for the next two turns. Um, let's just. Lethality writ large. Holy crap. What is that? Strength does extra damage and he has a dodge chance. Let's remove one of those. Timed, misdirected. That wasn't even a critical. What the crap is this? A little help impeccably timed. What the crap, man? to actually freaking get stress. Oh, but he was dazed. Ah, ah, ah. No! Why? Death storm, no! She's up next after this. Anxiety for men's insidious fears. A little burn, but that's fine. As long as I can get him out right of that back door. from the brink. Go 
circulation, perhaps. Whatever. Uh, at least let me take him down. Slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Come on. Wait, why was it applied in the bleed? Are you serious? No, not this organ. I don't care. <laughs> I need to freaking restock that healing cell on her already. This is Rebellion. Alright, at least I, I killed him. All problems I'm have their solutions. Even Kinda. the big ones. 8, 8, 8, 10. Sure, get the most out of it. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you freaking joking with me? Ah, 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 whatever. At least we're out of here after this turn. After this round, I should say. I. Uh, yeah. I'm glad I didn't lose anyone, but that. Uh, for some reason, that battle was more. Difficult than usual. Alright, which one could give us the most flame, actually? Actually, everyone's fine with this. No one is actually gonna freaking try to stab each other in the throat. Actually, I am carrying actually quite a bit of cash, so let's see what I can do with this. The Wayne Rider awaits, eager to ply his trade. No, I already have like two storage trunks. On my freaking thing, stagecoach. Your coach is laden. You can carry no more. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of these since these are just useless. Uh, I need to get rid of some other things too, apparently. Yeah, I already got two storage trunks on my stagecoach, and then I have two extra ones sitting here. I'm sorry, but it, it, it's gotta go. Um, that's actually not bad. What other crap could I just toss out? Actually, oh wait, I could actually. No, combat skill. There we go. Boom. Okay, so now I only have to. Oh, actually, there we go. Until I want to carry freaking something else, but. Until then, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Dang it, I missed that. No, 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 no. I got nothing out of that anyways. Uh, 58, yeah, I can actually use some more hope just in case for the final battle. Okay, so just throw up just 15 flame with some stuff, but the Jester doesn't like that. We'll give up 15 flame and get something else out of it, but this will actually have more negative effects. We're gonna throw in a little bit more gold for 30 flame and a bunch of other things. I'm gonna take a gamble. You know, he'll the just Wayne like Rider it. awaits, eager to ply it his trade. Uh, I don't really go to the hoarder much like at all to be honest blindness i'm not gonna really worry about that too much right now because i already have another thing of that of course this is very situational whatever things are situational that i probably could just drop man i got a lot of these 20 percent health well these only give away 10. i'll drop the one that has the least amount food barrel I keep that around. This is, these ones are just in case I go to the other area at the blight. Um, actually, since I do have a stitching kit, how many do I have? Just one? One stitching kit? There's all negative tokens. I only have two of those. Yeah, let me just do that and call this good. 
Next up is a resistance encounter and then another assistance encounter. Holy crap, this is bigger than I expected. Rubble and flame. What? Did she actually just have a meltdown? See. When and how and why? So these battles should be too Your bad. Your path lies through them, and so they must fall. Okay, so if we fight, it's only the play doctor that'll hate that. Oh. Oh, but neither of these actually give freaking any extra benefits to any of us at all. You're running away, we'll drop our flame, and then those two will start hating her for it. So far we have these two having a good relationship, but if I choose her... Let's see how this goes. If it was my choice, I would say screw this and freaking just move on. But that has a negative impact. Back down on the beard in the front row just to get him out of the way. Holy crap, the plague doctor isn't ready at a freaking death's door. Are you serious? Yeah, let's try to keep that one in place. I don't care if bleed resist. Uh, of course, he's gonna have a high resistance to being burned. Unless it's something with the healing. Okay, good. I thought something like, oh, really? You're gonna heal yourself? Yeah, you couldn't move because he was bear trapped. Ah, oh, sucker. Bring the hammer down. You know what I mean. Uh, let's see if we can do some bleeding effect on this guy because I know he hits hard. Oh, he resists the blight also. Oh, God. Now that thing is going to be way more difficult to kill. Slow suffering begins. I know you could dodge, but I need to get that token out of the way. Alright, so now he's up fresh out of tokens. Another pier. Mistimed is directed. At least that's out of the way now. Oh, oh man, so just stay where you're at, man. You want to go, sir? Actually, there is comfort in out. company. At least that one has a bleeding effect now. A resounding response. There is comfort in company. I swear, I'm not picking favorites. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Keep him away from the death's door. Play it smack down. I'm probably not gonna get anything out of this because she's gonna keep freaking killing herself. 
Wait, do I move forward? That's probably something I don't want to do. Ah, uh, so there's another turn after this anyways. Oh well, might as well do what I can. And then call it good. Oh wait, it's not a row battle. I nearly took it for God. Oh, flip. Oh, please run away, kill her before the enemy ever moves into this door. Oh. Amidst the spoils, an artifact These of good. unparalleled power. Combat to start with. I have to go through what that is. But yeah, these are actually pretty good. I just need to figure out more stuff. I should actually switch out. The loathing whispers. That is the real question. Um, how about I start with? I'm pretty sure if I read a manual, I don't know what exactly it is. But as of right now, I am not gonna mess with that. Okay, so we're all out of those freaking stress things, so actually I will slap the healing self on him because it's good to have those around, I should say at the very least, and then where's the runaway? I will actually throw in this blight thing with her. Okay, so this is, wow, her death resistance is at 90 with this. Uh, what exactly do we have? I don't know what exactly that does, so I'm not going to mess with it. Poor speed, though. Who would I actually want? Actually, this is an upgrade for this trinket, so I'm going to do this. And then I am going to toss out one of these. And there's something else I probably need to toss out. Well, that's actually pretty good. Honestly, I have not seen any difference with the range attacks plus 20 damage, percent damage. I already tried this earlier in this run, and it was pretty much the same damage output. So, if they nerfed it that much, that it pretty much does nothing at all. They should just remove it or replace it with something else. Because I swear I was using range attacks. It says range attack, and it still did the same damage output. So I don't know if there's there's something wrong with it, like there's, there's like a bug, or like I said earlier, they've nerfed it so heavily that it no longer does anything. So now the question is, what's the point of having it there if they actually nerfed it to do absolutely nothing? Uh, everyone actually likes this idea. How much flame do we have? 661. Is there anything of negative precautions besides her getting an extra three stress and only need to play doctor like that? Honestly, I think I would rather like have everyone like the chest a little bit more. An unexpected find. Debuffs enemy resist and chance to daze them. And honestly, I'll just leave those items. I don't really care for this. If anything, it was definitely the flame I was after. No, 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 stop where you're at. Okay, this is a bunch of resistance encounters. Destiny will not Cultists be denied. Counter, which they're, they're tough. Thanks to the final boss. What's my flame at? 76? Either deal with one difficult battle and get a chance to go back into getting one of these going off or two battles that could be potentially difficult. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Oh not only a cultist counter but also a road battle. My luck. Slap you and run away. 
Um, Alright, the smoke screen could only work on one enemy, but these guys, they do so much freaking damage, it's freaking dumb. Cat hair. Oh my gosh. actually having a good friendship with the grave robber and I was very good and it was a good work man do it. So, uh -huh. This is BS. Just talk crap on him? I totally missed that. What, what was our negative freaking impact with each other? In crisis, no gain is insignificant. Alright, I'm not gonna leave the boxing gloves and, or that gold, but I am definitely gonna drop that one freaking trinket for blight. Um. Yeah, because it's only freaking 10%. Uh, that's that's freaking garbage, bro. Okay. I think that's good for now. I do know I have uh, that lantern that gives uh, what like five, fifteen hope with the plague doctor. So if that starts going lower while the battle is going on, freaking. Yeah, I'll start using those items. Jeez, there's so much negative impacts. But at least with her, there's a greater fighting chance. Tried and tested. A bomb to be counted on. Uh oh. Restless souls thrive in chaos they create. Oh my god. I had one run, one run that I actually had almost the whole entire team freaking helping each other out. Almost. The whole entire team. And it was such a good run. And I don't remember if I missed that one up. 
I think it's because I was so like low level that all the trinkets and other stuff was not that good that it was it was just bound to happen anyways. But uh, oh well, it is what it is. It's Orca's Dungeon. You never should have your hopes up. She's about to break in and have a breakdown again. Uh, let's see if burning works. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Yeah, that blindness really does wonders. And... I'm, I'm totally good. I'm totally waiting for it. Okay, cool. Look at this blind status. She's blind. They're both blind. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay, cool. I was actually hoping that she was gonna die from the freaking fire or freaking flight. Uh, the slow suffering begins. That sucks. Whatever, just try to get her out of the way. Okay, cool. On to the next. Jeez. And the gesture's at the right spot to actually be the stress. But she's probably gonna have a breakdown. Yep, here it is, the meltdown. And then part of the relationship's gonna be starting to be tested. No? Okay. Jeez. Ah, uh, she just have a chance to dodge. But let's just get the token out of the way. I know she has another token. Hopefully no one goes on death's door. So far the runaway has been doing pretty well. It's just the burning effects is kind of black, lacking. But her blinding ability is pretty helpful though. I'm not gonna lie about that. Um actually. Because I know in our next turn that bleeding effect will put her right on death's door and I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible. Let's see if we do bleeding resistance. Oh well, that is. That's alright. Man, she's how is she see game timed is directed. Oh, they're filling my asthma. I think that's what's causing the blindness. And she resisted the flight all the way. But she has like a 90% freaking resistance on top of the uh, whole thing. So she has 100% resistance on it. So she's not going to be going down anytime soon. I just think when she has a meltdown, that's when she will just perish. Which I freaking hope not. I know she has a healing cell. Let's get that out of the way. Take axe to the face. Alright. Um, this moves him forward, but I want to keep him there because I want him to get him stressed as much as possible. a home run. Oh, they're finally having <laughs> friends again. Ah, ha, ha. Actually, it's good. It's blinded. Ah, sucker. 
Whatever. Let's just get this out of the way so we can get Quite to the little critter. The yeah, let's see if the, oh, I was going to say, let's see if the, the freaking bleeding continues. stacks, but... Never mind. Yeah, I don't need the dark impulses. I don't need that either, but... I would like to take the relics, but it's going to freaking... It's either take all or nothing. So I'm not going to have to sit here and screw with the freaking... The loathing yeah. of baits. What other crap do I not need? I'm carrying a lot of bread, aren't I? How many stacks of freaking bread do I have? One, two. I know I saw another one up here. No, oh, that's it? Okay, well, uh... Where did the other one go? There we go. Where's the other one I... Yeah, screw that. And screw this. Definitely keeping the boxing gloves. Increase stacking for food. That actually would save me a lot of space, wouldn't it? And 100% scout chance for the hoarder. I never really go to the hoarder. And every time I do, a lot of the stuff is overpriced or just... Well... Crap. Just overpriced crap. And I kind of think of it... Have I ever actually purchased anything from him through my playthroughs? I don't think I have. Desperate and wanting. Will you rebuff their earnest pleas? There's no gaining it. You serious? Scavenge what you can. And be off once more. And almost all of this is freaking crap, except for the freaking stimulants. <laughs> Your coach is laden. You can carry no more. Crap. <laughs> Why? And my 42 freaking home. He's kidding me. They weren't giving me hope. Freaking gosh. Oh, man. Freaking serious. Behold, the infinite emptiness of the void. I have no choice, but I have to fight in this. Uh, as soon as the plague doctor, I'm gonna have to use that lantern because holy crap, look what they get to have. So was that 20 20 percent chance of affinity changes? Dude, I really need to move him back to the third row. It's a jerk, so hopefully I'll blight. Okay. I just want to get him out of the way. Cool. Let us hope to finish One this less quickly. enemy to worry about. Dodge it, but I'm gonna get that token out of the way. Alright, cool. I need to move him back. Dang it, I was hoping to inflict the blindness onto him. Lethality with large. And it uh, got blighted. Cool. Oh, 
that shaman you wasted your moves. for the runaway to jump in and just get a quick smack on him too. Oh wow. Alright. So who's then back in position? 5 out of 10, 4 out of 10, 3, so yeah. Can't be trusted with this. Do you know how long of a cooldown that is? Oh my freak. Fine. Whatever. Don't care. Salty. impediment cleared with impunity the only one who's being salty out of the whole entire group is Bruce the Plague Doctor right now and I'm pretty sure that is my fault yeah I'm gonna escape escape scavenge what you can escape and be off once more I messed up with pushing your parents before I'm pretty sure it was the beginning of this run I feel dumb still for it, okay? I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who made that mistake. At least I hope so. I'm pretty sure other people have made the mistake too and just begin to upload it and just start a whole new run. <laughs> Which honestly, I was thinking of doing the same thing, but I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna act like I'm a perfect freaking per person or a perfect gamer. We all make mistakes. That's human freaking nature. We would come here in the summers of years gone is to write, think, oh, and so rest. Oh, so it rains faster? What? What? The Wainwright awaits. Eager to ply his trade. Yeah, I'll take that. That's gonna say freaking some BS. Uh, man, that run was interesting. But okay, so thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video. I do really do appreciate it. If also, uh, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. I'm going to be bringing out Darkest Dungeon 2 content and probably like various other ones. And again, thank you. I really do appreciate y'all sticking around to the very end. And if anything, take care.